Lucy, let's take this discussion further then. Uh, we are now joined uh, via Zoom by May Lucy Ngala, who is a senior researcher at uh, Corruption Watch. Always a pleasure to see you, sir. Thank you very much for joining us here on SABC News. Uh, thank you for having us, Flo, and good afternoon to the viewers. You're most welcome. Uh, quite concerning, uh, you know, as my colleague uh, Patricia Fasaki, who's covering the story, was saying uh, that someone like uh, Khomoto Patlani is among uh, these high ranking uh, officials that are arrested. We're told, you know, we must trust in the police service, we must trust uh, police. But, you know, when things like this happen, you, you, you ask yourself certain questions. I mean, what, what must we say? Uh, and, and, and can we then uh, be sure that the rest of the police service is, in fact, clean? Yeah, uh, Flo, it's indicative of what we have learned, at least how the public at large perceives the police as an institution. You know, it's um, the, the, the deficit, uh, trust deficit is widening, at least based on the surveys that we have conducted over the last couple of years across uh, several sectors of societies, one of those including the youth. So it comes with no surprise then that people are reluctant to actually trust and to have full confidence in the police, given the fact that high ranking officials are involved. But to us as Corruption Watch, we're not surprised to see these events unfolding because we have attested and provided at least accounts based on our research, whistleblower accounts, that, you know, in the police in particular, um, high-ranking officials are involved in serious crimes. Yeah, and I want to talk about those surveys conducted uh, that you uh, refer to. Uh, the latest report then by Corruption Watch, uh, some of the focus being, in fact, on fraud and uh, corruption within SAPS. Talk to us about you know, some of those um, uh, most important findings uh, pertaining particularly uh, you know, to, to corruption and really what we're seeing um, unfolding here in the Pretoria Commercial Crimes Court. So, so the the main report, I guess, would be based on our whistleblower accounts, um, which is based on the report of corruption that we receive as, as an organization, and it's actually it, um, highlighted in in several reports that we've written, including the analysis of corruption trend report, as well as a report titled "Corruption in Uniform." In that particular report, um, we looked at whistleblower reports to see between 2012 and the end of 2018. Mm. And over 1,400 reports of corruption were highlighted um, during that period, were received during that period. And most notably, the types of corruption that were trending were bribery, extortion, abuse of authority, yeah. as well as dereliction of duty. Now, dereliction of duty, if you allow me to flow, is quite a serious one because we need to contextualize it in terms of how we can hold the police accountable. Yeah. So people say that when they go to police and highlight certain crimes or report certain crimes, and those crimes link up with certain officials, the police have been very reluctant to act on that information yeah i mean I, i'm sure you're not uh, surprised by what uh, is being said uh, we understand that uh, in fact more arrests um, are in imminent uh, from your perspective how much uh, mm -hmm. corruption was in fact indeed uh, reported um, from the crime intelligence in the form in the time uh, that figilem uh, mbalula was uh, in office because i mean that's also uh, some of the questions that that are being asked it's hard to gauge a uh, flow to say how much corruption was done during that era, but the say that based on this corruption uniform report, the majority of cases, the most significant number of these cases were during um, his tenure. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much uh, for that. So that is uh, Melissa Naila, who is a senior researcher at uh, Corruption Watch. Uh, thanks very much to, uh, for letting us uh, in on your thoughts and uh, certainly uh, what uh, Corruption Watch has been up to uh, in the form of the surveys that, that they have uh, indeed uh, conducted.